This video will explain how to create a building permit in ACA, the Citizen Permitting Portal. Start by logging in to Acela, also known as ACA. Click on the Construction Permits tab. Click Create a Permit. Before you can continue, you must read and accept the general disclaimer by checking the box. Then continue application. If you have a license connected to your account, click on the blue arrow and select it from the drop-down menu. If you do not have a license, you will select None Applicable. Continue application. Select a record type. Click the arrow next to Building Residential, Building Commercial, or Building Multifamily. It's extremely important that you choose the appropriate record type for your specific project at this point. Our staff cannot change this if a mistake is made, and you will be asked to reapply if it's incorrect. Some helpful hints for choosing the correct record type. If it's an existing building, this would include projects such as interior remodels or finishes, interior home repairs or remodeling, and roof replacements. Non-habitable would include projects such as decks or retaining walls, swimming pools, garages or carports, patio covers. And for new building, this record type is used for brand new construction only. Once you've determined the appropriate record type for your project, select it from the list and continue application. On this screen, you are going to search for the address of your project Enter the street number and street name only. Do not enter information into any of the other fields for your best chances of returning good results. Less is more in this search. Then click Search to view your results. A helpful tip here, use the percent sign as a wildcard to help your search, especially if you are unsure of the spelling or how many words are in the street name. If you receive an error message at this stage, read it and address it if needed. Most of the time, this will not stop you from continuing with your permit application. If you selected your license at the beginning of your application, it will show up here. If you did not, no action is needed at this step. Please do not search for, add subcontractor or other contractor licenses to your permit. They will be deleted when processed. Click Continue Application. On this screen, applicant contact information is required. Click Select from Account. Whatever contact you choose from the list that displays will be the main email and telephone contact for all permit activity through the review process. If you want to add additional contacts to this application, you can do that here. Click Continue Application. Enter all required additional information as it pertains to your specific job or portion of the job on this screen. Complete all required custom fields and any other applicable fields on this page. For integrated building permit applications, residential and multifamily only, please select and or deselect the disciplines included in the project here. In the space that you see on this page, enter a brief description of the work that will be done. Kitchen remodel, interior tenant finish, or new single family home. You may also include additional information that you would like the permit processor to know. It could mean a permit number that is connected to the project, suite numbers or address discrepancy information. Then click Continue Application. Carefully review the information you've entered while completing the application on this screen. If any changes need to be made, click the Edit button for that section. If everything is complete and correct, click Continue Application. When you have successfully submitted your application, you will see this screen. Your record number, permit number will all be located here. You will also receive a confirmation email with this information. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.